Y I for youth information. Your radio program that tackles the latest trends, information, and issues of the youth of today. F Y I for youth information. Your one-stop shop for youth-oriented talks. We tell about the latest and we break every detail. F Y I for youth information. Be the first to know. Be among the trendsetters. Be one with us. Kami ang inyong mga kachikas sa kahinan. Dinilamang sa inyong youth-friendly station. DYWC. Your voice. Your station. Evangelium Reflection Uban ni Kamit's Friend Lord, let your servant go in peace For your word has been fulfilled My own eyes have seen your salvation and the glory of your people Israel. Mga kamigs, brothers and sisters, welcome again or welcome back sa ato ang program sa For Youth Information um, Evangelium Reflection Today is February 2 Tuesday and um, if you are familiar with the song na ako ang gikanta kaganiha mga kamigs brothers and sisters it is the kuan kanang linya karon o sa sa mga phrases or part sa Ebanghilyo karong Adlawa nga ito ang pagabasahon those are the very words that um, Simeon speak no? when the Lord is being uh, held in His arms because today we also celebrate the feast of the presentation of the Lord and our psalm is who is this King of Glory? It is the Lord. And our Gospel is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 22 to 40, Malchamix, brothers and sisters in Christ. So join me, Malchamix, as we are going to reflect upon this uh, mystery of our Lord, upon this feast that we are going to celebrate today the feast of the presentation of the Lord. So the child Jesus, the baby Jesus is being presented to the temple. So the presentation of the Lord to the temple, no kung tig rosary mo mga no? This is one of the mysteries of joyful mysteries. So ang misteryo sa kalipay. So naasya sa ika um, ikaupat no? ng misteryo sa kalipay so the first mystery of uh, joyful mystery is the annunciation of the Archangel Gabriel to the Blessed Virgin Mary the second is the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to her cousin Saint Elizabeth the third is the nativity or the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fourth one is the, presenta the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple and the last or the fifth a joyful mystery in the Holy Rosary is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. But today we are going to focus on the fourth mystery of joy. This is the feast of the presentation of the Lord in the temple. So my reflection on this, Makamis, brothers and sisters, is that uh, we know that we are also 
called the temple of God. No? We are also a uh, temple of our Lord. So today, mga kamigs, brothers and sisters, we are being reminded that, that the Lord presented Himself to us to be His temple, to be His living, walking temple in this world. He is, present, he is being presented to us by His parents, by his foster father Joseph and by his mother Mama Mary and by the grace of God may we be able to receive him may we be able to worthily um, receive him in our own lives for this this baby Jesus is the king of glory no? he is the king of glory and like um, Simeon on our gospel for today, may we be able to receive and took Jesus in our own lives like him who received Jesus in his arms happily with a joyful heart. Led by the Holy Spirit, he received the Lord in his arms enthusiastically and joyfully that he even uttered these uh, words now O Lord you can dismiss your servant in peace for you have fulfilled your word and my eyes have seen your salvation which you display for all the people to see here is the light you will reveal to the nations and the glory of your people Israel so those are the very words that Simeon uttered when he have um, held Jesus in, in his arms. So, Makamig's brothers and sisters, may we have that desire by the grace of God. May we have that desire to, to heal Jesus, to carry Jesus in our own arms, to receive Jesus with the same joy, with the same enthusiasm, that uh, Simeon has during the presentation of our Lord in the temple. Because, you know, my coming brothers and sisters, in Him alone that we can find peace, true, true and real and eternal peace. This is the peace that only the Lord can give to us. Only the Lord can offer such peace. Uh, peace and as we can or be able to receive the Lord by his grace we may be able also to um, present him to others amen praised be Jesus and blessed be Mary in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen